What's up guys, Nick here. Today we're going to take a 12 volt power wheel ATV, a little quad that our niece and nephew use, and we're gonna run it off of Milwaukee batteries because the stock battery is junk. Let me show you, let me show you what we're trying to do here. So these are the stock batteries, which if you look at reviews on them, are garbage. This is a 12 volt, nine and a half amp hour battery. That thing won't hold a charge to save its life. So what I did was, on this there's a little adapter that plugs into it we, we cut that off and i had to wire this to a regular quad battery the one day because they wanted to ride and they only like to ride for a short period of time because their attention spans are minimal so i think what i'm going to do is try to convert this to basically run on the little 12 volt either two amp hour or six amp hour or four amp hour milwaukee batteries I thought about doing it with a DeWalt 20 volt. If, if I don't have enough power, then I'll, I'll might do that as well. Let me show you what I bought for this though. So about a month ago, whenever I got the mini bike, I wanted to put a headlight on it. So I got these 3D printed 12 volt adapters that basically can bolt onto anything and they take the 12 volt batteries We'll make sure these aren't touching here for the Milwaukee systems and they plug right in so it's a 3d printed unit I think they're about 12 bucks I'll link it up you can get them on eBay they may might even be on Amazon but they take 12 volt this is a 6.0 amp hour battery what I'd like to do is be able to plug this right into the power wheels maybe screw this to the side of it and then have a quick quick release the other thing that I like to use is these Anderson power pole adapters these are popular in ham radio and what they do is they uh, they connect and disconnect and I'll show you how that works but basically they fit into each other if I can uh, they fit in the other and plug in each other like this so you can then quick disconnect them if you need to and I could use this on something else if I wanted to I got two of them in a pack so one could be for the mini bike and one will be for this quad but we'll get the power pole connectors Connect it onto here, then we'll get two on the on the ATV, and we should be good to go. These are the 30 amp version. They make them in a, I think a 15, a 30, and a 45. Pretty popular. But these are the are the best way if you want something like quick disconnect. Alright, so the first part, we're gonna just twist these up and put these little connectors on. And we're just gonna crimp them down. Once those connectors are crimped on, we're going to do the same thing on the quad side. But we can take these connectors now, push them into here, click. There you go. So now that's locked in there. And we're going to do the same thing with this other one. And now that those are in, you basically have half your system done now I'm not going to cut the I could cut this shorter but because I might want to use it on other projects this will work out well now what we're going to do is take two more of the tabs and Anderson shorted me on two of the tabs but oh and you can actually take this little pin and the little pin these will actually separate if you want them to separate or you can connect them together and then when they're connected together you can take this little pin and push it through the middle here and that'll keep them from separating so then you see that pin in there just push that in the middle now they'll stay together so that set is done now we're gonna go do the side on the quad and we can take the pin two pin outs and the crimper so the first things first get the power pole connector Pushed on there. I think they do make a special crimper for these, which I do not have. But the 30 amp ones work perfect for your 12 volt, 12 ga or 12 gauge wire.
All right, so those are connected. Click, get the black one right there to click. Those are locked in. So now we got these on, we got this on. On this setup, you're going to go white to red and black to black. Keep your blacks together. And now we're all connected up. I am going to try to shove that pin through just to keep them from separating. So we'll shove the pin through in this one. That'll keep them just from sliding apart. So now we got everything connected. I can have the wires down in here. And I'm probably going to mount this somewhere in here. Or even just let it sit in the box. I could do something maybe like this as well. And then this way I can pull this out. Easily disconnect it. Easily throw it in the charger. Boom, when they want to ride, they want to ride. So let's just plug that in right now and let's see if it works. Should be good to go. So this is just a quick way to be able to connect and disconnect the battery. Like I said, the only thing you'll want to do is mount it. I'll figure that out later. But you could probably do this. I like this 3D printed unit for the ATV or the mini bike. This, this should work out well. Six amp hours. If you want to disconnect it, you can disconnect it. Don't have to worry about it. You can also just pop the battery out. And then you can just, when you're ready to use it, connect it back in, throw your battery in there, and you're ready to rock and roll. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.